Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review. This film I have watched like one or two months ago, and I haven't reviewed it yet, so I might as well review it before the year ends, since it's been 30 years since this movie came out. And that's Labyrinth. I know there is a special edition for this movie. There's supposed to be a book thing and like a box set of it but you know I'm happy with this although I think the blu-ray the new blu-ray of this has a lot more special features but you know I'm happy with this I mean there there is some good special features to this like storytelling picture in picture interviews and puppeteer Kevin Clash you know the voice of Elmo um uh, and uh, commentary, making of documentary, stuff like that. So I'm happy with this. Alright, so Labyrinth, I thought was made by Disney for some reason. I don't know why. It just looked it like a Disney film to me, but... Um... I don't... Th I th I'm not sure if Jim Henson directed this or not. Oh, well, you know, he did direct this. And also, this film involves, uh... Alright, this film involves a teenage girl. I think she's a teenager. Um, anyways, um, she has a baby brother who she wishes could be f taken far away from her as possible. So pretty much, she gets her wish and now, uh, she has to go to this labyrinth because she made a horrible mistake of... Uh, sending her brother away so now she has to go past this labyrinth run by the sky played by David Bowie Bowie I think it's David Bowie but anyways uh, he does um um on the way she meets mythical creatures and they're all puppet they're all puppets so pretty much yeah, um, yeah, they're puppets just like in Sesame Street and Muppets. I mean, it's Jim Henson. I mean, Jim Henson makes, uh, is famous for his puppeteering and stuff like that. And it is a musical movie. Uh, one scene in this movie where random Muppets on a green screen come out. It, and it's supposed to be, like, laughably ridiculous because of the green screen effect. I mean, the green screen looks so fake. But, yeah, that's basically what the plot of this movie. Now, this movie is pretty good. I mean, this is one of those really weird kids' movies. Like, creepy kids' movies. Like, Mommy, what is that? Like, it's one of those types of movies. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, it does have some really weird elements to it once you watch the movie, and, whoa, it really does, um, um, has it aged well? I can say that it has aged well, I mean, I've only seen this movie one time, and it was the time that I watched this, which was a few months ago, and I can say that the puppets look pretty good in this movie as well as the story I mean David Bowie does a pretty good job and everybody else they did a fine job to me I mean definitely um I wouldn't say this is the best movie of 1986 it's not as good as Little Shop of Horrors or Ferris Bueller's Day Off or Aliens or Stand By Me but, um, it's still a good movie from 1986. You know, I can definitely, um, see the, how the fandom for this movie has been. I mean, this did get a parody episode from Secret Mountain 4 Awesome. You know, that piece of shit show that, uh, yeah, let's not get into that awful show. I mean, they pretty much... But anyways, uh... It's still a very imaginative movie. It's worth watching if you're a fan of Jim Henson. And I'll... 
I can I'll give this movie four out of five. It was really entertaining, and definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. And I'll see you guys later. Word out.